I'm weak. Uh, on October 1st of 1997, my 10 year old son Jeffy was kidnapped and he was murdered. He was taken from our neighborhood in East Cambridge uh, in front of his grandmother's house. I, since then, I've, I've traveled around the country. I met many families who've lost loved ones, who, whose children have, have disappeared, whose children have been murdered. Uh, and in the big picture, our family is much more fortunate than many families, and that we were able to bring Jeffrey home, and um, we were able to get the people responsible for it off of the streets. And I know a lot of families don't have that. A lot of families don't, they never, never find their children. Sometimes they find their children. If they're lucky, that's one piece of the puzzle. But they never find the person responsible for it, never able to bring anybody to justice for it. So the next, the next phase is uh, how do you heal? How do you get better? Uh, I was reading in the Herald this morning a uh, story by Peter Galzinis about uh, Deanna and uh, I, the word that jumped off the page to me is the word closure. For many years, I, I, I would think that there was no such thing as closure. But as time moves along, I, I realize that there is closure. There's closure for people that pick up that newspaper and read that story, or see the story on the TV. There's closure for them when the news is over, when they put down their newspaper, the story goes away. But everybody here, uh, Deanna's family and, and many families who've lost a loved one, there's no such thing as closure. I mean, the word closure to people like us is, is, is is laughable. There's no such thing. You move forward with your life. Um, you try to heal the best that you can. Um, some people do well with it. Some people not so well. Some people struggle. Some people get better. But it's a, it's a lifelong process that you need to manage. You need to manage it and you need to heal from it and you need to get better. Nobody gives you a set of directions on how to, how to do it. Um, there's no one way to do it, there's no blueprint for it. You know, everybody heals uh, at their own pace and, and gets better. But the, the main way that I found to deal with it is, is to come here and do things like this today. And I'm, I, I hope that uh, all of you people that are here today go, go away to my, today with a, a, a positive feeling that things are gonna, things are gonna get better. Things will get better. Um, you know, you, like I said, you move on in life. Uh, good days, bad days, uh, anniversaries, birthdays, different events that bring you right back no matter how much time has passed. 18 years for Diana, you know, almost 16 years since Jeffrey's uh, death. And uh, there's always something that comes out of nowhere. I can remember I was still working. Uh, I was over in Cambridge. I was driving one of the fire trucks down the street in East Cambridge. And I remember taking a 90 degree turn off one of the streets down in East Cambridge. It was a February day, late in the afternoon. And I remember turning a corner and the brilliant sun in my eyes. And I instinctively, I put my hand up to shade my eyes from the sun. And right there in that moment, out of nowhere, you know, it just brought all that pain, all that anger, all that hatred and all that bad stuff back to me. Because I think that weekend before Jeffrey was killed, we were playing catch up in the Charles River and I was teaching Jeff how to how to catch a fly ball in the sun by shielding his eyes with his with his hand and, and just little things like that bring you back. So we move forward, we heal, we heal together. I, I, I'm so glad I, I've, I've been to a lot of different events, but this is really the first one that I've, I've had the chance to do here back home here in Somerville. So I'm, I'm glad to be here and, and I hope that uh, we all go forward. In, in a positive light here today. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.